guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is summer and i am an online reseller which means i resell items online for a profit and today's video i'm going to be revisiting my quick lots general merchandise half palette that i purchased and received back on july the 3rd i'm going to be sharing today my top 20 sales from that palette my profits and all that good stuff all right so let's get right into it so I paid $1,144 for this palette. It came in four big, huge boxes and it had anything and everything in it. Um, gloves, scarves, hats, jewelry, um, hair accessories, kitchen supplies, just anything and everything. It had some clothing in it, not much, but it did. Um, makeup. I will link that playlist here up above. So if you want to go back and see everything that I got in that palette, please feel free to do that. But today, like I said, I'm just going to be going over my top 20 sales from that palette. So like I said, I paid $1,144 for it. I got a total of 293 sellable units. And when I say sellable units, that means that I did bundle some things like the jewelry that weren't that wasn't worth a lot of money or the hair accessories. I made big bundles and I counted that as one sellable unit. So I really got way more than 293 pieces, but I'm counting it as 293 sellable units. So that made it $3.91 per sellable unit. And that just works out better for me to do it that way. Um, so I have sold so far 93 items. I have 196 items or sellable units left. Um, I, uh, have made so far on those 97 items, $2,208.55. If you take away the $1,144 that I spent on the palette, that leaves me with a profit of $1,000. $64.55. And that is taking out all my platform fees, shipping, all that good stuff. So I think that is really great. Um, personally, I would order this one again and I plan to sometime in the future, but not anytime soon because I'm still, you know, I still have all those items left and I just don't have the room right now to do that. So let's get right into my top 20 sales. First item was this Kendra Scott Pink Didi Gold Earrings, and these sold on Macari. They sold for $53, and I was left with $45.86 after my platform fees. Next item sold on eBay. This was a um, running belt. It was by a brand called Satisfy. Just It was Satisfy Justice Spacer Running Belt. I'd never heard of it. Um, I was very surprised when I looked up comps on this thing. They were pretty pricey and it sold pretty fast. Like I said, on eBay, somebody sent me an offer for $73. I don't remember exactly what I had it priced for, but I accepted that. I thought that was a great offer and I made $62.47. Next was this um, sale on Poshmark. It was an Eric Javits Daphne fedora hat. And if you watched my videos, you will see that all of my hats that I received were pretty smushed, where they had been smushed, you know, all packed in these boxes. Um, I was able to salvage <laughs> these hats and get them back to their normal self again by using my steamer. And I just steamed it and everything, you know, shaped right back, you know, the way that it was supposed to be. Thank goodness, because I had some very nice hats in there. Um, but this hat I sold for $175 and I made $140 profit. So I thought that was great. Next was a sale on eBay. It was this Port Portolino, Portolino men's leather cashmere gloves. And somebody sent me an offer for $50 and I accepted right away and I made $43.55. Next was another sale on Poshmark. It was this Beauty Bioscience Glow Pro Micro Needling Kit. 
It sold for $90 and I made $72. Next was my best sale out of this box. It was this Burberry scarf. It sold on Poshmark. It was a wool silk blend scarf, new with tags. Most of the stuff was new with tags. Um, this sold for $250. I did give a shipping fee, uh, discount of $2.46. So that left me with $197.54. Next was a sale on eBay. It was these Nordstrom Men's Shop 100% Silk um, Black Cumberbund. And this did not have a tag on, you know, I knew it was, I don't know if it was new or not. It might've been a return because I think most of the stuff was customer returns and shelf pulls. Um, so it was probably a customer return. So it didn't have a tag on it. So I couldn't sell it new with, new with tags, but it still sold for $34.99 on eBay. And I made $30.27. Next was a sale on Poshmark. It was the Susie Levin, I think that's how you say it, uh, Sterling Silver Cubert, Cubit Zirconia Ring. Um, this ring was gorgeous. It was missing a few of the stones, but you really couldn't see it unless you was really, really looking at it. But I did disclose it, and it still sold for $48, and I made $38.40. Next was another hat. This was a sale on Poshmark. It was this Brixton Tan Pacific fedora hat in a size extra small. It sold for $40. I gave a shipping discount of $1.50 and I made a profit of $30.50. Next was a sale on eBay. It was this Tory Burch raised logo striped hinge bracelet. This bracelet I couldn't sell as new because it did not have the tags on it. I do believe it was a customer return. It looked fantastic, had nothing wrong with it, no scratches, anything. Um, but I just sold it in excellent condition and it sold for $74.99 and I made $65.79. Next was a sale on Macari. It was this Macuro, I guess I'm saying that right, duvet cover set um, in a king size. Um, this also was a customer return because it had been taken out of the little zip plastic um, packet and um, it was kind of like not folded good and taped up, you know, and returned that way. So I just got it back out of the pack, folded it really nicely, and it, it fit back in there. But I did sell it as um, new without um, tags or new with never used or however you want to say it. Because it, it, it had not been used. You can tell that it had not been used. I think somebody may have taken it out of the package. Maybe it didn't match the room or they put it on their bed. It didn't fit. I don't know. So, um, and then they returned it. So I did, um, sell it on Macari. Somebody sent me an offer for $72 and I made $62 and 41 cent. Next was a sale on eBay. It was these Nordstrom Men's Shop panel silk pocket squares. And I did bundle these in a bundle of five. I got five of them. Um, so I put them in a bundle together. And they sold for $72.50 and I made $63.54. Next was a sale on Poshmark. It was this Kendra Scott black dangle silver earrings and they sold for $33. I made $26.40. Next was another Kendra Scott pair of earrings. Um, these sold on eBay. These were the Macy clear glass drop earrings and they sold for $30 and I made $26.59. Next was a sale on Poshmark. It was this Notori Cherry Blossom Black Convertible Bra in a size 36 double D. It sold for $36 and I was left with a profit of $28.80. This was a sale on Poshmark. It was this Dry Bar Flat Mate Boar Bristle Brush. It sold for $40 and I was left with $32. Next was this um, Nixon um, gold, um, watch, well, it was gold plated, I guess, watch, but it was a Nixon base digital gold IP steel watch. Um, it was missing the one side of the buckle. So I did disclose that um, and I just listed it pretty cheap. Um, it sold on Poshmark for $30 and I was left with a profit of $24. I'll still 
I'm with that. Next was another hat. Um, it sold on Poshmark. It was this Brixton Joanna Straw Fedora hat in a size small. It sold for $38 and I made a profit of $30.40. This was another bra that sold on Poshmark. It was an, um, another Notori Bliss Perfection Contour bra in a size 36A. It sold for $32 and I made $25.60. The last item was another great sale. Um, this sold within a few hours. I listed it in a few hours. It sold. Um, it was a sale on eBay and it was this twilling, twilling, twilling gourmet 14 piece knife block set. And it sold for $132.79 and I made $108.91. Um, so I think I did pretty darn well um, with this palette. And I made my money back very, very quickly. Probably within at least a week or two. I mean, it was really, really quick. Um, a lot of uh, these most expensive items sold in the very beginning. And I'm still selling the stuff, you know, every day I might sell one or two of the items. So... I'm pretty confident that I'm going to still keep selling these items and still making a great profit on this um, palette. Um, I will say it was a lot of work, um, but it was fun. I really enjoyed it. I would say that ordering this palette is a risk. Um, I have seen some unboxings of this um, half palette that have not been that great, and I've seen some that were better than mine. Um, so, but I would risk it again and order another one. But like I said, I've got to sell off some more of the stuff and make some more room. Um, I also have a lot of inventory coming in, um, from Flip. And if you don't know what Flip is, I'm going to be making some videos on that. And it's basically free inventory. So stay tuned for that. And also stay tuned for my follow-up. Um, video on how well I did on the Quick Lots apparel half palette that I got too. So I'll be making that video here next. So that'll be coming out soon. So anyways, if you like reselling content, please think about subscribing. And if you liked this video, hit that like button on your way out and we will see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.